Hello, hello, my friends. I hope that you are all doing well. Have a look here. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I think you saw this place last year. I showed you already, okay? So let me, uh, let me just tell you something else. So it's not uh, something fun today, you know, something fun. So I arrived here uh, in, the, in the countryside house, you know. So this house used to belong to my grandmother and then my father kept it. And uh, it's really nice here. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. However, I wouldn't like to, uh, how to say it, I wouldn't like to, uh, to get this kind of house because I think it's a big burden. It's a big responsibility when you, it's, it's, why? Because the, the tax, the tax, it's a burden. You carry this on your shoulder. One thing is the tax, the tax is very high very high so these are all advice you know these days I've been looking looking you know for years I've been looking for a place to live and I, I, I was always thinking let's move and live in the countryside you know and this is in the countryside uh, and I was always thinking why, why not come here you know it's beautiful but the problem is here you know the tax each year if you live in this house you have at, at least to pay maybe something like 1,000 300 euro a year or something like this and uh, on top of it if it's just a countryside home you have to pay two tax in france which will be like 3000 euro in total so that's something very important to see so, um, for me the most important and, and of course the house is beautiful it's 350 years old and it's really nice but i think you have to make choice except you you are very very wealthy and and you can afford it you can live in the castle you can have someone who comes because you know here if you live in a house like this you need the upkeep cost of the house okay so the tax is once and the other thing is um the tax and uh, and then uh, repair you know you need to repair the roof you need to repair the everything inside you know the painting lead that so you have so much work you have so many burden you know it is cost 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 so it's not easy but if you are just a normal guy like me you know uh, not very rich and you want to live in the countryside or you want to be happy and, and have a place in the countryside and the, to me the most important is the land and this is why I show you the garden you know this is the most important you see here they didn't cut the grass for one year so I just arrived there they didn't cut the grass for one year and I think it's beautiful when you don't cut the grass because the, the, the nature the, the insect everything leaves look look at all these insects you know everywhere here here everywhere it's beautiful you know it's simply beautiful and this is the wild life, you know, you leave, you leave the natural insect, the natural, you know, it's beautiful. They deserve to live, they deserve to live, they have a place to be, you know. Uh, and yeah, I really believe in this, and my brother also believes in this. And I think that's the pity of our society, that every space in the countryside is used. And they just brr, brr, crush it, and they put GMOs, and, and they destroy it, and cut it. And even private people who have their own house, they will cut down the grass, and, and even you are given no choice, like... So uh, some of you told me, yeah, yeah, in the US, you must cut the grass. If you don't get the grass, you get a fine, okay? Uh, and my kid is here, eh? so, uh, so I have not much time. And yeah, and this is what I want to show you. Look, look, beautiful, beautiful, and uh, the countryside. So yeah, if me, my hope is to find uh, a big land, maybe twice the size of this land. Here you have only 4,000 square meter of land, you know? So you get like 10,000 square meter of land, a big land. And then you have a very small house, so it doesn't cost you much. And uh, yeah, and then you can really plant so many fruit trees and you leave the nature. If you really need to cut the grass, then maybe you can cut it once a year. Or you just leave some animals, leave some chickens. They will, they, will, they will take care of it. Leave some sheep, maybe leave some horse. They will take care of it. Also what I like when you go here, or maybe you can leave a trail and, yeah, and that's it, you know. The problem also is, uh, you know, these days, uh, that's what I told you many, many times. It's very difficult if I live in the countryside, except I work online. And this is it's tough. It's tough to get a job online. It's very difficult to have a job. And then if you have no job, how do you make a living? How do you make a living if you have no job? Look at the size of this. It's like, and, and all the insect, all the insects, you know? It's really nice, really nice. So yeah, uh, it's really tough to have a job. And then if you have no job, what do you do? You know, how can you pay the bills? It's almost as high as, as, high as me, you know? Uh, yeah, how do you do it? How do you do it? You know? I think also any any insect, anyone has the right to live, and that's the diversity and it's part of us. You know, we all support each other. Yeah, okay, maybe some insects are bad for you, some uh, yeah, the mosquitoes there too, and all. But we all support each other. You know, there's kind of a balance, so you need to keep the balance. You cannot like we cut down the grass and they say we'll always have impact on you, and that's the problem of our civilization. And this is this this is we have no choice anymore at some point. You know, 
Yeah, and the problem is, uh, the best is when you live there full time, but I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it because I cannot have any job. I'm teaching online, I'm teaching French online. I'm trying to grow the French channel. Help me, come on the French channel. You can, you can study French for free. And I try to get Patreon and to get people who donate. So in the longer run, maybe after one year or two years, maybe uh, I will get a small income, you know. And I also teach online and get paid a little bit, which is good, one-to-one uh, -one private lesson. You know, let me go up and, but I don't think that will be enough. So I'm, uh, now I'm a bit stuck and I was thinking uh, maybe I have to buy uh, uh, just a bigger place next to Paris. But it's so expensive. It's, you have no choice. You have to go to the big cities for job, for work. And in big cities, it's race to the bottom because you have to compete with all the migrants. And everyone is competing with each other. So you have rich people. They compete to buy the good apartment, to buy the good, in the good location, in the good district. And then uh, even poor people, they compete because they want the job. So they are always willing to offer more. And young people compete with old people. And uh, in the end, you end up having the hell life. You know, you have to work very hard. You're not getting paid anything. Uh, not much you have no guarantee for the working contract and yeah you end up like in the US in the US it's even worse I think uh, I should, uh, that's just my opinion maybe you disagree or maybe you agree but that's what I think and and also of course there's after there's like communitarist or racial hate like people will start and say oh uh, look there's even the castle over there and people will start complaining and saying oh um, I don't get good job, that's because of the migrant, or I don't get good job, that's because of the blacks, or that's because of the Asian. And someone will say, oh, I came here, my parents came here to France, and they were happy, but me, I have five kids, five brothers and sisters, and we have nothing, we have to live in the ghettos, and we are not offered anything. Yeah, of course, people will, will become angry, you know? And then uh, I think this is the solution. Bring everyone to the countryside. You know, my kid is here. Bring everyone to the countryside. Just leave and give them the land. And, you know, but of course, the government doesn't want this. They want just the opposite. They want people to be trapped in big cities. They want people to be slaves. And that's what they push. And then they can push this global government. And this, this is what's happening today. You know, this is what's happening. First they push consumption. Then we have no more choice. We are stuck. We are stuck, you know. We are stuck. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. But uh, as, I, as, I, as I tell you sometimes, you know, and I tell it to you again now today, we shouldn't think too much. We shouldn't think too much. I think if you think too much, then you are miserable, you know. And I am not miserable, I'm, I'm quite happy, you know, I'm not miserable. Okay, uh, let me leave you. Bientôt les amis. Bientôt les amis.